Hello guys, my name is Asperant and this is 49ers News. Now, before I get into the 49ers News, um, keep an eye out on the 31st of July, 6pm British time. I'll be uh, uh, preparing a video, uh, premiering a video, um, of what I'll be doing on the NFL season. So keep an eye out on that. Uh, if you're new, subscribe. Uh, if you are uh, existing, get the notification bell on that video. But... Keep a reminder on that video will be coming at 6 p.m. on the 31st of July, British time. So keep an eye out for that. But 49ers news. I'm a bit late on this 49ers news, but either way, I've got to get it done and sorted. So here it is. So as you can see here, this is uh, the good and not so good from day one of the 49ers training camp. So this was on July 28th. So I'm a bit behind because uh, I work and everything. But no excuses let's get down and dirty now this is on the uh, si.com this is by grant cohen uh, if you haven't heard of him look on his youtube channel he's flipping good um and you know what he's he does well he knows what he's talking about so let's get to it uh analyzing the uh, the best and the worst performances from day one of the 49ers training camp here's who stood out on uh during the day one of the 49ers tr uh, training camp uh, keep in mind this practice uh, lasted just 75 minutes and the 49ers won't uh, put on pads until day six also uh, i wrote about day one of the quarterback competition here okay so let's go to the good first wide receiver brandon ayuk he led all 49ers with five catches no one else had more than two that doesn't necessarily mean i will lead the 49ers in catches this season george kittle and debo samuel are established and need less reps in practice while i is, is entering his second season but he still looks capable of leading the 49ers in catches he has extremely long arms and made two difficult uh, catches this morning uh, which required full extension plus he destroyed rookie third round pick ambry thomas with a deep uh, comeback route on a play action pass I just needs to stay healthy. He's fantastic. So that's good. Number two, wide receiver, Debo Samuel. He caught two passes in team drills, and one was a 70-yard touchdown bomb from Trey Lance. Wow, okay. Uh, it's clear that Samuel is much more than a glorified running back or a yards-after-the-catch specialist. He's a complete wide receiver who can run deep, and Lance will highlight that uh, this part of his game. Okay, that's very good. More than 70 yards touchdown. That's good. Third, wide receiver, Mohamed Sanyu. Caught two passes during team drills. After practice, uh, Jimmy G said Sanyu is f looking fucking good. He's the obvious uh, favourite to be the third wide, number three wide receiver. Amazing. Fourth wide receiver, Kevin White. Beat number one cornerback, Jason Vern, with a, uh, uh, a, a cruel route on the outside. White is a former top 10 pick whose career has never taken off because of injuries. And he's long short uh, to make the roster. But today was a step in the right direction for him. Well, that's good. Okay. Running back, Raheem Mozart. Uh, run through the first uh, string of defense for a 75-yard touchdown. Ran on the first play of practice. Mozart is the uh, still an animal and the fastest player on the team. Number six, tight end, George Kittle. Uh, George Kittle just caught one pass for long one from Lance. Kittle used to get more action in practice, but when he was younger, now I gets the action. Right guard Daniel uh, Brunskill uh, took all the reps at right guard with the first string offensive. Uh, rookie Aaron Banks might take his job eventually, but not any time soon. Number eight linebacker Dre Greenlaw. Uh, broke up Jimmy's first pass attempt of the moving. Uh, a risky throw over the middle uh, intended for Ayuk. Greenlaw read uh, Jimmy G's eyes and broke early on the pass. Okay. Number nine, strong safety, uh, Tevin Wilson. Played with the first string defense and strapped the ball from running back, Trace uh, Simone. Wilson seems to be uh, Tart's primary backup for now. Okay, then. So that's not too bad. That's good. I mean... Um, what gets me is the, my reaction, my thought when it was, uh, linebacker, Greenlaw. So I'll read it again. Broke up Jimmy's first pass attempt of the morning. A risky throw over the min middle. That's what we don't want. Risky throw, man. You could get into a sack, uh, not a sack, you could get into a, an interception like that. So this is what I'm saying. This guy has got to keep his eyes straight on the ball, man. I'm telling you. But time will tell. That's only day one. 
Okay, but not so good. The pass rush. Nick Bose and Dee Ford returned to practice and warmed up with the other defensive linemen, but either de uh, 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 participated in team drills, which means the pass rush was terrible, just like last season. Uh, Eric Armstead rushed from the edge and got nowhere, while uh, Samson uh, Ibuckman went against Trent Williams and got owned, which means both quarterbacks had uh, f fewer to throw. Uh, sorry, which means both quarterbacks had uh, forever to throw, which is a big reason both quarterbacks played so well. Uh, defensive tackle Jason Kinglaw uh, apparently re-injured his surgical repaired knee some time after the end of the OTAs. Kinglaw watched along with Bosa and Ford while the rest of the players did team drills. This is a crucial training camp for Kinglaw, who needs to improve as a pass rusher. Bad start. Okay. Running back Trey Simone fumbled and committed a false start penalty. Typical first day for a rookie. <sighs> okay. Strong safety uh, JT. The 49ers didn't place him on the pump list with a toe injury, which is good news, but they did place him on a reserve COVID 19 list, which is bad news. Uh, JT just can't get on the field. Four wide receiver uh, Jenkins uh, also got play, uh, placed on reserve COVID 19. Uh, whilst uh, also got placed on the reserve COVID-19 list while the rest of the team uh, raved about his competition. Uh, Mohamed Sanyu, uh, not good for Jenkins. Uh, cornerback Tim Harris Jr. Started in, started in place of Emmanuel Mosley, who also is on the, the reserve COVID-19 list and got torched all morning. Uh, at one point, he almost burst into flames. Every time the 49ers wanted a big play, they threw it at him and gave it up. Six quarterback, uh, Nut Stumfield, uh, threw, a, threw a pass while rolling to his left that bounced five feet behind the intended receiver, who was five yards away from him, still trying to figure out why Stumfield is still on the team. Seven quarterback, Josh Rosen, threw one pass attempt during 11 on 11s and almost got sat, threw the ball away while falling on his back. That was the extent of his morning okay now let's find the competition one all right so we're on the quarterbacks uh, amazing day of the 49ers quarterback competition so here we go all right here's what stood out from both quarterbacks jimmy g according to grant cohen he played the best i've ever seen him playing training camp wow uh, he completed nine of uh, 11 pass attempts and made a few wow plays uh, first on third and long in the face of blitzing Fred Warner, Garoppolo flicks a pass off his back foot to Trent uh, Sheffield for a first down. Call that vintage Garoppolo. Next on third and five, Garoppolo scrambled to his right and fired a pass on the run to I for a first down. Finally, Garoppolo, uh, Garoppolo faked a handoff, rolled left, and without setting his feet, completed a 20-yard pass, uh, pass over a defender to Ayuk. Uh, Garoppolo looks great shape and confident which is great news for the houston texans who might want to trade for garoppolo when they finally do a deal with uh, deshaun watson if garoppolo keeps playing like he did today the texans just might trade a first rounder for him god knows why i don't want the watson but okay now trey lance as well as garoppolo played lance was even better than Jimmy G, uh, because he did things uh, Jimmy G couldn't. Both were extremely efficient. Lance completed 8 of 10 pass attempts, but Lance also completed 2 deep throws, and Jimmy G didn't attempt any. First, Lance threw a perfect deep touchdown pass up the left sideline to Debo Samuel. Later, Lance completed another deep pass up the left sideline, this time to George Kittle. Finally, Lance stumbled to his right and fired a 20 yards pass attempt to Travis Benjamin. Lance made it look easy. And while we played uh, with the second team offensive line, he completed one pass to Ayuk, one to Samuel, and one to Kittle. So Lance is getting reps with starters, and so far he looks outstanding. But the 49ers still haven't uh, practiced in pads and won't until day six of training camp this year. Stay tuned, this quarterback competition is just getting started. Well, well, well. I cannot wait for this. So that's day one. Um, Unreal. Amazing, the, gym, the quarterback competition. It's good to hear that Jimmy G is looking fantastic that he's done before. 
And that's good because he is our QB1. He is our number one to go to. And Trey Lance is even doing better than him. So that's saying something. I, I, I can't wait for this preseason to start. But time will tell. Um, it all looks good. Pass rushes. I need to sort that out. And um, yeah, I think day one is day one. And um, in a minute on the next video, I'll show you what day two is all about. Um, thank you very much uh, for watching, guys. Very um, very fortunate, humble, appreciate that you watched. Thank you very much for 39 subscribers as well. I'm very fortunate that you're still subscribed and you're still there. And if you're new subscribed, I'll be keeping an eye on 49ers news, live streams and all sorts, guys. So keep an eye out. Um, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys uh, on the next video.